Big time football is big business. Find out if the SEC really did show us the money. Robbers on the run, but it was all caught on tape. It is week two of Friday Night Fever. We are very excited to be live at the new Battle High School. KOMU 8 News at 6 starts now. Lights out how a smoking ban has crippled some Sedalia businesses. Some federal workers head back to work despite the shutdown. And a prescription for problems. High rankings for overdose deaths in Missouri. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. Well, the conservation part is only telling part of the story. A camouflaged agenda. Why some in the hunting industry think a deadly disease may not be so deadly. The lawmaker wants the governor gone. What prompted his push for impeachment? And deal or no deal. Jefferson City struggles to agree on the Capitol Conference Center. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. How the government shutdown is leaving new seasonal craft brews untapped. Cleaning up the violence, what some argue would make Douglas Park safer. I don't know if there's a target on my family or what. Two cousins killed in less than three months. A Columbia woman voices her fear. A prescription for debate. City council members reject a new pharmacy's location. Drive through booze, a new Columbia liquor store with a twist. And remembering a leader, Columbia mourns Almeida Creighton's death. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. Constructing an oil pipeline in mid-Missouri is showing us the money. Why the builders never showed you their plans. Marijuana in Missouri. Why one Columbia lawmaker says it's time to legalize. An unbelievable sense of fear caught on video when two planes collide. And a fluoride fight. Why some people think there's too much in the water. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. Pumping corn in your car to pump up the economy. Why it could actually make your grocery trips a little more expensive. Thousands dead in the Philippines after what some are calling the worst storm ever. We'll have the latest on the typhoon's devastation. And Thanksgiving and Veterans Day come early. How one Missouri restaurant paid tribute to our soldiers. KOMU 8 News starts now. Oh, we've already talked about a lot of that during this interview. I think at this point we're having a debate because I think you disagree with me, so I'm, I'm done. We asked about a proposed 24-story building in downtown. Why one Columbia City Councilman walked away from our interview. One of the worst storms on record, how mid-Missourians can help Filipinos. And after nine years, Ryan Ferguson could leave prison as early as tomorrow. KOMU 8 News at 10 starts now. Less than 24 hours till kickoff live reports from the Tiger Takeover in Atlanta. And a look at the other Tiger City's traditions. Plus the first snow of the season rocks mid-Missouri and much of the nation. KOMU 8 News at 6 starts now. It's what's for dinner. Who's to blame for higher beef prices? The lowest paid workers in the state get a raise. Making more and paying less, why gas prices will stay low in Missouri. And Ryan Ferguson's fate rests in yet another's hands. We'll have the latest. Kill Me Wait News at 6 starts now. Also coming up, how one Boone County family lent a helping hand to heal a hoof in need. And I'm sure you've heard wearing white after Labor Day is a no-no, but the rule might not be as black and white as you think. Coming up, we'll show you what some mid-Missouri fashionistas had to say. There's a saying, you don't want to take a knife to a gunfight, but in this case, it worked, and it was all caught on tape. And coming up, why some women rallied for a different kind of labor this holiday. Thousands are still reeling after a typhoon slammed through the Philippines. How mid-Missourians are sending support overseas. 